Tressa Glover. Hello. Welcome to Berg Vivant. It's Thank about you. time. Right? I'm so happy to be here. You certainly do a lot of independent work here in the city, which has been very successful. Case in point, well, we're well, um, running your own company. Well, I mean, and you have some help with that. A uh, little. <laughs> So this is no name players. It is. Of course. And the um, and your position is artistic producing, producing artistic producing director. artistic director. Now what is the dis- difference between a producing artistic director and an artistic producing director? Well, I that's the question. Ah. I don't know. No. The difference is well between artistic director and producing artistic director. I would say the biggest difference is the artistic director um, Wears a lot of um, scarves Scarves. and jaunty berets, I think, is what is expected of that role. Sometimes a monocle. Ah, very good. Um, I think the artistic director really, as far as has final decision and the most about the season and the artistic, right, as far as the season that we put together. I would say it's the biggest difference. The producing, we both, you know, do all of it. Um, But that's, I'd say, the biggest difference. Producing gets more, a little bit more into the management and the business end of it. The so stuff that's, that's not the very fun, come. yeah. Yeah. Those those necessities. It has to be done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It has to be done. Well, so, um, yeah. When did No Name Players begin? It began in two thousand and two uh-huh. um, at Marshall University. Oh. Which, so Don DeGiulio, who's our artistic director, who I believe you've met a couple times. Uh-huh. I'm familiar. Yeah, I've met him. <laughs> <laughs> He is also your husband. Uh-huh. Are, we at li- are we at liberty We're to say that? Absolutely. Is that a secret? Or, uh... <laughs> Not a secret. So we've been married for seven years. Congratulations. Actually. Thank you. Now, how is that um, uh-huh. working in such a close capacity with um, your spouse? Yes. So it's not an easy thing, but it's the learning curve. That's uh-huh. just, that's what it is. And finding, and it's taken a few years. So it's really been since 2005 mm-hmm. that we've run the company together. And we were still dating at that time. We weren't married yet. Um, but that's what it is. You find, because it is so easy to have it be all that you ever talk about. Mm-hmm. And all that, right? So it's like you're going to run this company together and then it follows you home. Because of course, you're, and especially because we're a smaller company, you know, we don't have a huge staff. It's all you, all people, yeah, at the end of the most, day. Right. So... It is that, and learning, it really took time, and I feel we've, and especially in the last year or two, we're getting to a place, I know that we're both feeling like, okay, we're finding something here. We've always worked well together because mm-hmm. we make, the, our strengths are different and our weaknesses are different, so we make this whole, which is why it works. But as far as the communication and finding, okay, we're in business mode now, so if I sound this way, it's completely business, and has nothing to do with uh-huh. <laughs> the personal or the you know husband-wife situation. And so it definitely takes time, but I think, What helped it the whole time was that we really do have such a respect for each other as not just as people, but as artists. Mm -hmm. And so if we did disagree, because that's part of the problem when it is just the two of you. Mm -hmm. Um, And we're getting a little bigger now. We're maybe the other voices, but when it's the two of you. And so there's no person to be like, okay, well, how do we make this decision? There's a third third. party mediator. Correct. Maybe that's maybe that's something you need to apply for a grant for to have, you know, hired. I I would love that position. Just call me up. I'll come over with the cocktails and be like, okay, what is it today? And I can, you know, be be very wise, like Samson, like was that King or Solomon. And, you know, all right, we're just going to cut the script in half. You know, and then and then you know that I, I can come up with fun I things lo- like actually, that. Actually, yeah. I love this idea. It's usually, we do two shows over uh, the summer. If you uh-huh. want to think of it as like May to August, we'll usually do two, either plays or as we've just started doing musicals. Um, so that's usual, and then we have Swan Day in March. But this year. So that's give or take. So if you want to think about it that way, that's usually it's so I guess three. But then mm-hmm. last year, for example, we did a Christmas show at Arcade Comedy Theater. Um, that was just that ran was a shorter run. Um, we did something like that. We did a one man version of Toy Story with Andrew Swackhammer. You know, we started doing little pieces. You know, little smaller shows, different types of sure, you know, sure. exploring different things. So. It's, we're starting to kind of play with it and change you know, what exactly our actual season holds. And now, of course, we have the live sitcom we're doing, so that's something new as well. Let's talk about that. Okay. Sister Sorella, am I pronouncing it correctly? That is it. Which takes place here in Arcade Comedy Theater, yes. where we are today. Yes. The, the signature brick wall, <laughs> um, where I feel like we're getting our mug shots taken. You know? <laughs> uh, wonderful space. Uh, no Name Players has a good working relationship with... Uh, with Arcade Comedy Theater, which I think we just celebrated them. its two-year anniversary. Yes. yes. A lot of funny people have been through oh here God. in two it's years, 
including yourself, who um, performs in Sister Sorella. You do, yes, yes. I do. And you write this as well, is that correct? Yes. So this is a little different from your standard theatrical piece. How so? It is. Well, first of all, it is episodic, so it, like a sitcom on television. Um, so every month is a different episode. So that's probably the biggest thing. Um, and different in the sense that it's about three sisters and the three actresses, we all write it together. Hmm. So that's part of it too. Um, and then... So now, are you see, used to having a writing team or are you primarily a solo writer? Pri yes, solo. So I've never... So how is this how before. is this process? So with three chefs in the kitchen. <laughs> Honestly, it has been... I should knock on wood. It has been... Uh, above all expectations I mean it has worked really well and there and and just somehow our styles are each a little different but our sense of humor is all the same mm -hmm. which of course helps <laughs> I mean but and our styles are just different enough though that again it supports it it's it's just been it's been great we're also filming them all so that if you miss one even though they are single serving but um, we'll have it up on our YouTube channel so that you can go in and see what you missed if mm -hmm. you just want to be caught up you know well that's smart show. i must say that's a oh, pretty you. good idea thank you very so much. we've had one of these thus far we've had one. how did that go it was great yeah and we had two sellout houses and i mean you yeah i really don't know what to expect now even just the experiment really now just begins because it's great you have the one episode and the everyone i mean everyone who was here really seemed to enjoy mm -hmm. it and love it but now it's like okay let's see if what we are hoping to happen which is getting people to come back, getting new people to come, mm -hmm. like if that can all continue. But it was, I mean, we had a ball. And we, um, so the sisters are based, you know, they live in Pittsburgh um, and they're of Italian descent, which is Sorella, because Sorella in Italian is sister. So mm -hmm. it's a little play on the sister's sister. Well, from what you've told me just alone there, I think you've got <laughs> material for several months. Oh yeah. Easily. And we were, the first episode we were making sauce the characters were and so during the break the whole audience got sauce and meatballs and Mancini's bread so there's every episode's gonna have something like that where the audience got is gonna get roots. something yeah yeah and there's another event coming up that I believe no name players is producing and this is Swan Day, Swan Day. Yes. now tell me a little bit about Swan Day because I thought I knew what it was but then we were chatting earlier and I was like wow I didn't know it was all that so I wonder if there are other poor unfortunate souls such as oh, myself yeah. that don't really, you know, know the depth of Swan Day. Yes. So Swan Day, it stands for <laughs> I actually get out of scroll. Um, <laughs> it stands for Support Women Artists Now mm -hmm. Day. And it's um, always the last Saturday in March, Women's History Month. And it was founded by two um, women here in the States. Just let's, let's select a day within that month that is specifically to honor and celebrate the work that women artists do around the world. And they wanted to get this idea going. And so we had heard about it when we were living in Chicago, because that's where one of them was at the time. And we're like, you know, what if, and, and it, was enc it encourages people to just like any other holiday celebrate it. So if that means you go to, or if you have friends over and watch some films by female filmmakers, or go, you know, go see a, you know, art gallery, maybe there's a, you know, a showing of, um, female visual arts, whatever you mm -hmm. can do to just say, let's just honor and support these women. Sure. And so for No Name, we thought we should do something and what should it be? And so part of our mission as a company is to work with artists from different disciplines whenever we can. And so we said, let's, let's make Swan Day Pittsburgh. Let's just call it that and <laughs> bring it to Pittsburgh. But then let's make it all these disciplines. Now, did you have to theater. get any approval for that from the founders? Or you're just like, hey, no. we're just going to do it. <laughs> we're like, we're going to do it and see what all happens. Right. Yeah, because the idea. And so we, we, let's put this together. And so this will be our seventh year. So what it is now, it's all world premiere work. And it's music, dance, theater, film, visual art. That's this year. In the past, we've had poetry and fashion designers and nonfiction work and puppet makers and I mean you know just across the board pretty much at any discipline you can think of and so um, it's become and then in 2012 one of the founders we get an email one day and she's in San Francisco and she says I've been following your work and I think what you're doing is wonderful and so that's like the head swan the that head con <laughs> contacted you Yes. Wow. And, I, and, we, and you we had had like, no what? contact with her no, before. I never. Well, that's an honor. And it, it really was. Yeah. It was really kind of overwhelming, really. And she said that she wanted to name Pittsburgh as one of only seven international partners for the day. And so 
There are events in more than 150 countries every year, and so we were, were one of seven um, that she officially named, and then she came in to see the show. Now, see, year. Pittsburgh should be immensely honored by that, I think. And it is yeah. one evening of multiple performances. Yes. yes. And this year there's live painters as well, so during the show there'll be artists painting live in reaction to what's happening on stage and there's huh. our little art gallery so there's visual art that will be displayed and then the actual short plays music dance and every like during the actual show no one piece is more than 10 minutes so it moves along you know mm -hmm. you see a short play you see a dance you see a music set you see a short film and it just rotates through it's about the length of a what's series. what's coming up in the future for no name players or is so, it all secretive? We actually just announced this week. Okay, so it's not well, a secret. Great timing. Well, let's discuss. So, um, we are doing, so in addition to, so Sister Sorella, mm -hmm. the goal is to run it for a year. Um, so it started in January. So that will be every month happening. Swan Day. And then we just announced um, our play for the summer. The one play that we're in the summer is going to be Brood by uh, Scott T. Barsati, who is a Pittsburgh native. Oh, very good. Um, he's in Chicago now, but he's a Pittsburgh guy, and directed by Stephen Wilson, who's worked with us several times, also a Pittsburgh guy. Um, Keeping it local. We right, love it. Right, and it is a cast of seven women. Just seven women. Well, that stinks for me, not, but uh, know, how nice know, for them. I know, I know. Call but me for the next happens. one. When does that ever happen? I know. Please. Well, no, that's good. I, but, uh, I think maybe we need more plays like that. Yeah. So we're calling it, this is really our, our season of sisterhood is what we've named this, between Sister Sorella and Swan Day in this year. Um, so that's coming up. It'll be the end of June into July at Off the Wall Theater. Um, and it's really interesting. It's six sisters, um, the story, and it's kind of a dark take, and it's... Um, Flipping gender roles and flipping the certain maybe fairy tales or ideas like that. And it's it has a dark side to it. Well, I am interested to see how all of that comes together in one play. Yes, uh, I think. Yeah. yeah, it's hard when I think about like how do I sum it up? That's, that's well, that was about. intriguing <laughs> and uh, <laughs> mystifying. Certainly, I think that's a good tease for that. And cheers you. to you. Cheers to you. Thank and you for Swan having Day me. And no name. Oh, anytime. All it's the best. Wonderful. Yeah. To be honest, like, okay, what? It, so if you don't like plays, it'll be over in 10 minutes. Who doesn't like plays? But, you know, maybe what sort of crab apple out there is, I don't I mean, like I don't play. know any. <laughs>